This right here is Andrew Huberman, and he is a neuroscientist leading the industry of self-help. And as a little self-help connoisseur myself, I decided to put myself to the test, and I'm going to be living like him for the next 24 hours. And you might be thinking, oh, 24 hours, that's no big deal, that, that's easy. <laughs> Right. The only problem is this dude is an absolute super human. Wake up at 5.30 a.m., cold plunge, workout, fasting. Honestly, after reading through this routine, I think my chances of survival are about 1.5%. It's not looking too hot, but I guess at this point I have zero choice. So ladies and gentlemen, I will see you bright and early, literally. So freaking early, my boy. 5.30 a.m., why the frick would anyone wake up this early? Is 7 a.m. not good enough? Alright, um, first thing <laughs> he does first thing in the morning. I don't know why he would do this, but he drinks some of this LMNT stuff. Element? I've actually heard a ton of people talking about it. I'm very interested to see how it is. There were two things on there, AG1 and Element. They do different things, but I'm just going to take a multivitamin instead of the AG1. I don't want to really buy a full packet. Electrolytes are really good for you, so probably should be taking these anyways. Instead of just busting down on straight up salt. Wow, this stuff's strong. It's flying through the air and getting in my mouth. A lot of people don't think that salt is good for you, but you do need salt. And it's not just salt that goes into electrolytes and hydration. You also need magnesium and potassium, but mmm. That's kind of gas. Seems like it'd be very strong in the morning, but very strong, but tastes quite nice. So I'm still sipping on this. Here's the thing. And a lot of the, why is this such an odd angle? I've watched a lot of Andrew Huberman stuff, right? And he always says direct sunlight first thing in the morning. This schedule I'm following doesn't say that. It's probably because it's still dark outside right now. Next thing I gotta do is some meditation. I just realized I didn't make my bed either. So I'm kind of all out of sorts here. I am not a morning person, if you cannot tell. I'm gonna make my bed really quick, do something called yoga nidra. It's kind of just like a form of meditation, like a deep rest form if you don't wake up feeling energized i didn't wake up feeling energized so i'm gonna do some of that yoga nidra stuff and see how i feel it's my first time ever doing it so i'm quite interested holy cow i'm not gonna lie to you my boy i am feeling pretty good right now i just did 20 minutes of yoga nidra 6 30 i'm not feeling too bad um so i've had these lights on in my room and i've also been using my ring light just to kind of start my circadian rhythm before the sun is up but the sun has been awoken the freak am i yapping about the sun is risen over the mountains i'm gonna jump out here he does about two to ten minutes of sun exposure whoa it's a little bit chilly two to ten minutes of sun exposure basically just trying to get sunlight in my eyeballs and sun exposure time here we go <laughs> my sun exposure was a success. I'm starting to pick up a little bit, getting into my more normal routine. But next up in the routine, probably everyone's favorite slash least favorite part of the routine. It's like the easiest thing to do, but it sucks balls. Cold exposure. So I don't have a cold plunge. So I'm going to be doing a cold shower from anywhere to one to three minutes. Targeting the back of the neck is ideal because that's where I believe it's your brown fat cells are which help with your thermal regulation and stuff like that. I'm gonna do about two minutes, because if I'm doing it every day for a week, that gets me up to above 11 minutes. I'm definitely just pushing this out as long as possible. <laughs> All right, so here's my method. I'm just literally gonna turn it on and just embrace it. Here's the thing, I do this every day, but I don't go straight into it like this. I do my shower, I take my warm shower, I get all toasty, then I hop out, let it cool down and jump back in. Two minutes on the timer, starts. I made it out alive. For it being 7 a.m., I'm feeling pretty freaking good right now. I've already done probably more than most people in an entire day, which is quite impressive. But that woke me up. Here's the problem. Next up on the schedule is a workout. I'm not a morning worker outer whatsoever. So this is probably gonna suck balls, but it's about a 60 minute lifting workout. I normally do this at night, kind of right before I go to bed. But if Andrew Huberman does it, I guess I got to as well. Let's get this grind on. I'm going a little bit off of my normal workout routine. I'm going to be doing a little hit workout. So high intensity interval training. There's been a lot of studies showing that morning 
cardio is super good for you. My normal lifting workout isn't much cardio, so I think this will go a little bit more up the Huberman app. But man, the chances of me throwing up are probably likely very high. Oh my gosh, bro. This dude's a freaking animal. So it is. I don't even know where my phone is. It's probably around 8 o'clock or so. I've done more. I would still be asleep at this time. <sighs> Workout complete. Hopefully the hardest part of the day is done. Um, so this is where we kind of have a little bit of a gap in the routine. It's 8.30. Um, he drinks his morning coffee around 10. I don't drink caffeine, so hopefully I survive through this adventure. But I'm assuming at this point is where he gets a little bit of work done, I would assume. So I'm gonna do some of my work in this period. I still have not eaten a single thing. For a man who's trying to put on weight, this probably isn't ideal for me. Which is one thing I wanna point out. It's impossible and you should never, sorry I'm still a little bit out of breath, replicate someone's routine exactly because their routine is fit to their needs not to your needs. So you can't look at what I do or what he does and see exactly what you should be doing. You need to kind of tailor base it to your routine. For example, waking up at a certain time, there's certain chronotypes that are meant to wake up or fall asleep earlier and some that are meant to wake up a little bit later and your body's gonna feel a lot better doing that. Anyways, gonna do a little bit of work, go crazy here for a little bit, then hopefully I get to eat some food soon. Work session of the day complete, and I guess it's time for a little lunch break. My stomach, I didn't record it, but was grumbling this entire time. I am starving. It's 1 p.m. I haven't eaten a single thing. I've been up since 5.30. Holy frick. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go eat my first meal. So here's the thing. From what I can tell, Andrew Huberman doesn't follow a strict diet plan. I could be completely wrong though. So I'm just gonna just follow some of the ground rules that I've heard from him in the past. First one, avoiding processed foods. Second one, avoiding seed oil. Those are gonna be my main big things. What I have in mind for my first meal, I'm gonna eat some fruit right here. Then I'm gonna bust down on a beef patty. Wait, how many calories are these? 440, I'm gonna bust down on two beef patties. Some fruit, beef patty. I don't have too much food that I get to choose from. I think it's my best option. I am low key feeling a little bit beat. I've got a thing with eating with my hands recently. I just feel so at one with the food. I swear it makes it taste 10 times better. I'm not even lying, try it. Ooh-wee. I just went from being the hungriest freaking dude to absolutely stuffed in the matter of minutes. Just kidding, I'm the slowest eater in the world, so that probably took me like, let's see how long actually. About 40 minutes, but hey, I'm feeling good now. So it's about two o'clock. It's time for a little bit more work, it looks like. Got another little gap in the schedule. <laughs> All right, a quick 90 or so minute work session later. I'm cooked, but Andrew Huberman has thought about this. He's one step ahead of me. He knew exactly how I'd be feeling at this time. And he said, I got you, my boy. So he hooked me up with a 30 minute yoga nidra session. 30 minutes seems a little bit extreme, but if the boy Andrew does it, then I'm doing it. This is putting me at like 50 minutes of yoga nidra in the day. That's a long portion of your day to just sit there. He must really like it. Another yoga nidra session down the hatch. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm still pretty freaking cooked. So, um, I'm gonna do a teeny bit more work. I don't have anything for another three hours. It looks like on schedule. One thing I'm starting to wonder is when the frick does he get ready for the day? Like he's never once on here told me, shower, get ready. Maybe he just finds some time. So I might get ready here. Problem is I got another little workout to do later. So it seems pointless to shower and everything. Who knows? Anyways, I gotta tidy up my room, some stuff like that. Do some of the tasks I've been putting off doing this routine. But the fact he does this every day is freaking impressive. All right, what's up guys? Long time no see. Um, got a few things done. Feeling a little bit better about life as a whole anyways. It's time for another workout. Let's go, Mr. Huberman. Um, so a little bit of evening cardio, which I just hate cardio, I'm gonna be honest. It's just my least favorite thing ever. Anyways, I don't know if I'm supposed to run or walk. I think it's kind of up to you. Here's the thing, Andrew Huberman himself didn't write this routine. So there's probably some little things that are off, stuff like that but I'm just gonna follow whatever this says so I'm just gonna go for a little jog 30 minute or so jog get my blood flow up heart rate up 
get the blood pumping for bed. It's a little bit contradicting, but hey, who am I to tell the master what to do? Nice and beautiful day. Get in the mountains, boy. I cannot complain. Jog is complete. Broke me a nice little sweat. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's dinner time now. Next meal of the day, I'm thinking just to do the exact same thing I ate for lunch. It filled me the frick up, and I had a lot of protein, good nutrition, so. If I did this in the long run, I would definitely get some groceries and figure out a better meal plan, but I think for now, it gets me about right. So, gonna bust down really quickly, run it back for old time's sake. Oh, I'm cooked. Dinner complete. I just had a little bit of time talking with my family and stuff, just hanging out with them now that they got home. It's getting close to nighttime. It is about nine o'clock. I'm ready for bed. So, it's actually Andrew Huberman's time for bed as well, conveniently. As you can tell, um, to get ready for sleep, he has a pretty simple routine. He dims all of his lights, so I don't have any bright overhead lights going on anymore. Jacks up your circadian rhythm that we worked so hard to correct this morning with our bright morning sunlight. Have these red lights on because blue light is what actually can change your circadian rhythm a little bit. Red light has the least blue light in it, so that's why I have these. And obviously, you got to be able to see me when you film, but I think ideally having no lights would probably be the best way to go. So that's his number one thing. There's a few other things you could do, like cooling your room, stuff like that, to try and improve your sleep. I've done a million videos on these. At this point, I think kind of throughout this entire video, my brain has been fried. My whoop told me I got about five hours and 14 minutes of sleep last night, just because, boy. <laughs> just because my sleep routine is so set on my other schedule. So I'm really not sure how this one's gonna turn out. Honestly, I kind of feel like I'm living in a dream. So if you want some real good facts, go check out my other videos. I just got back from a backpacking trip too yesterday. So that was my last video. I'm cooked, essentially is what I'm trying to tell you. Long blown out way of telling you that. On that note, my teeth have been brushed, face has been washed, it's time for bed. So last thing in the routine, just reading. I don't know how seriously I'm supposed to take this blue light stuff, but I literally got my phone turned to a red setting. I do not know how long I'm gonna survive reading this book, I'll be honest with you. So I might as well end it here just so it don't end abruptly. And I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, you lovely people. Let me tell you, I'm feeling a lot better about life today. I got 10 and a half hours of sleep last night and holy freak, it was much needed. Anyways, um, final thoughts for living like Andrew Huberman. First, this dude's just a freaking animal. Would I recommend you guys try it? Sure, try it out and see what you think. I would say take parts and pieces of it that you enjoy doing and adapt it into your own way. Like I said earlier, do not copy everything someone else does because it's gonna be optimal for them, but not you. You gotta use that brain a little bit, take in all this information and then adapt it to you and your life. Hopefully this video turned out good. Thinking back, I feel like I was just delirious the whole time and I might've talked about this. It all kind of like, it was kind of like a fever dream to me. <laughs> I don't even know to be honest with you. Check out some of my other videos. Message me on Instagram. Any questions you may have, I'd be more than happy to help out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.